Hey guys, DIY Maniac here. So with a new DIY, I'm in the process of building my own workbench. I looked at what the stores had and nothing really fit my needs perfectly. So I figured, hey, you know what? For a cheaper cost, I could build my own and it's going to be exactly what I want. So I've already started, got the main uh, framing done. So basically what we're looking at is an overall dimension of 48 inches long by 27 inches deep. And the height when said and done will be at about 36 inches. Uh, right now it's at less, it's at 30, but I still have to add casters onto the bottom. Swivel casters with brakes so I can move it around. And then we got to take into account an inch and a half height for the, the top portion of the workbench, the work surface, which will be two by sixes. So right now the construction is with pressure treated four by fours, cut at 30 inches, two by sixes, cut to length for what we needed. So 48 inches long here and 24 inches on the depth, but giving us 27 because we have that extra inch and a half on those. So giving a total depth of 27. Uh, what I did for the bottom, because I want to plank it, but I want to have the bottom planking recessed a bit down to have a little bit of a lip going around the perimeter so tools on the bottom shelf can't fall off. I ripped down a 2x4 uh, to half width to make a cleat on the bottom uh, at about 3 inches down. So once the 2x6s are on top of an inch and a half height, it'll leave me with a lip around the perimeter of an inch and a half. So I just put those cleats going around and then I'll be running the, uh, the planking, the 2x6s. So what I'm going to do on this video, it's not going to be only a video, it's going to be some pictures too because I'm not going to be filming as I go because I don't think you guys really want to see that. I think most people get the understanding of basic tool operation. So what I'll do is every so often I'll put a little video section in as I go along and in between will just be stilled photos as you can see my progress. So I'll leave it there and we'll pick up. Hey guys, well, I'm back. So as you can see, the workbench is pretty much fully assembled. We can see all the boarding is done on the bottom, as well as on the work surface. Um, if we look underneath, I did put a cross, um, cross member going across just to give extra support in the middle. Because I will be putting a lot of heavy tools on there, so I wanted to give it that extra support so we get no sagging um, across the middle. As you can see here on the surface is a nice surge protector power strip which I will be installing on the back side. So that way I could plug all my tools in, my chargers for my drills. Uh, so I think that's gonna be a nice uh, nice addition to the workbench. It's a very nice power strip. It's full um, aluminum construction. So nice and heavy duty. It's got nice spacing on some of the outlets so you could get the larger transformers plugged in and not be taking up two um, receptacles, which is nice with your off and uh, reset for the surge protection and here's the um, the casters I'm going to be using they're a uh, I'm gonna, it's a four inch wheeled caster with a total of a five inch height that I'll be mounting on the bottom I have two that are fixed and two that'll swivel so I'll be able to roll it in and out that way when I'm uh, working out in the driveway I could take it out with me and then push it back up against the wall when I'm finished with it I'll also be putting a brake on it so I could, um, when I put the brake down, it'll be uh, secured in place and not roll away. So I'm just going to go finish up that and then we'll uh, take up after where I left off. Okay guys, here's the finished product of my workbench slash work cart. As you can see, it's fully assembled. We've got the four casters on, two that swivel, two that are fixed for easy maneuverability. I've also repurposed a barbecue handle for my Weber grill. 
So it'll give me an area to hold on to for pushing and pulling the cart around in and out of the garage onto the driveway. You can also see that my bench vise and bench grinder are fastened to the work surface. If we come around the back, we can see the wiring. So we can see the power strip wiring all done. My two chargers for my DeWalt drills fastened, the wires secured down, coming up, tied off and plugged in, as well as the wire for my bench grinder, fastened and secured. What I'm going to be putting here is a paper towel dispenser for shop towels. It'll be hanging off the side there. Still a lot of surface to be working on for different projects. Uh, a lot of storage on the bottom for my tools, for my power tools. So that's a quick little video. I know it wasn't it didn't go into too much into detail on it, but it was just to give you guys a look at what I was working on and um, how I put it together. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, keep looking out for further videos because I'm going to be putting up more often during the summer. Thank you very much, guys.